In this video, we will be going through the flow of accounting data. Here we have the very beginning of the accounting cycle. The accounting cycle starts out with a transaction occurring. For example, we might purchase inventory on account. The second step is to analyze the transaction. With that example, the accounts affected would be inventory and accounts payable. That would affect the assets and liabilities on the financial statements. Our third step is to create a journal entry based off of the analysis of the transaction. Our journal entry would be a debit to inventory and a credit to accounts payable. Since we're debiting an asset, inventory, our assets will increase. And since we're crediting a liability, accounts payable, our liabilities will increase. Therefore, our accounting equation will still be in balance. Our next step is to post to the accounts. So we will post each journal entry to the related T accounts. We will enter the amount of inventory on the left-hand side of the inventory T account. We'll also post to the right-hand side or the credit side of the accounts payable T account. At any point during the period, we'll be able to take a trial balance of all of the accounts. This will ensure that all of our debits are equal to all of our credits. We will do this by adding up all of the debit balances and then adding up all of the credit balances to ensure that they are equal. At the end of a period, we will complete our next step, which is adjusting journal entries. These are required due to accrual accounting, which is required by GAAP. All adjusting journal entries have either a revenue or an expense, and they will have an asset or a liability. Next, we will do the adjusted trial balance. We will take all of the new ending T account balances after our adjusting journal entries and ensure that our debits are still equal to our credits. Finally, we are able to create our financial statements. Here they are listed in order of creation. We'll start with the income statement, then we'll create the statement of retained earnings, the balance sheet, and lastly, the statement of cash flows. Once we have done that, we will do our closing journal entries. We'll close out RED accounts, which are revenues, expenses, and dividends. These are all temporary accounts that only last throughout one period and will zero out for the beginning of the next period. These accounts are all closed into the retained earnings account. After we have done our closing entries, we'll be ready to start our next period.